loan that information, pay it forward. Whether you're a platform artist, salon owner, future professional, hairdresser behind the chair, it's not about uh, being remembered, it's about never being forgotten. Making a lasting impression each and every guest. Number one, never let anyone forget that we are intelligent, talented people, that we're not an episode of Jerry Springer. We have an opportunity to live up to cliches or we can impress people and a lot of people say, you know, I, I'm not here to impress anybody, but I'm here to impress everybody every day. And so, and so are all of us in this profession. They'll have the confidence to fulfill your goal and just always keep taking risks to get to where it'll be. Because when you get there, like you can't believe you did it. And when you do that, you don't work anymore, you just have fun. Love that there's evolution always going on in the industry, and it starts with you as educators. So, I want to thank you for having me be where I am today and the future of our industry going really far. Uh, if I could say thank you to the educators for their commitment to education, if I could say thank you to the educators for their level of commitment to what it is that they do, thank you for your extreme caring and giving, because that's what you are, you're nurturers and you're caring and giving. And I'd like to say thank you for the fact that you have done your best to shape the lives of the new professionals in our industry. Uh, and I'd like to challenge you to continue to, to do the best that you can with your students, uh, force your students to do their best. I just want to thank all the teachers here because whenever you doubt yourself as a student, you always doubt yourself because you're not too sure of, you know, how well you're doing, but they never give up on you. And I just want to thank them for the push and the drive, otherwise a lot of us would just doubt ourselves and never keep ourselves motivated. Thank you for pushing me and making things difficult on me, even if I wanted to cry at times but I wouldn't be the stylist that I am today, nor the educator. When they're really passionate about what they do and they want to help others, I love that about them. Thank you for all of your patience and thank you for listening to me. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you for all your patience because I know I'm a very hyper student and um, everything that you've taught me thus far has really helped me and I can't believe I've learned this much this quickly. Every day I come to my class, I want to learn more and I'm very grateful and thankful for everything that you guys have done for us. And I appreciate it. I've had like the best time and it's, it's, I feel like sometimes your instructors, I feel like when they're more your friend, it makes it just, it makes it more enjoyable to be, more enjoyable to be here. Mm -hmm. And I just, I think when they interact with the students a lot, it's, it's, it's nicer, you know, when you're more personable with your mm -hmm. teachers, it just makes the experience more enjoyable. Thank you for explaining why, thank you for explaining why not, um, just thank you for being there. Matter of fact, I have not seen a Milady book in a long time. It's been over 11 years now and I think I, I let somebody borrow my Milady book. And I walked into a Goodwill the other day, just donating some clothes and some some old things I like, didn't want You're anyone. Good enough, good yeah. Enough. And the first thing I saw, seriously, in a pile of books on top was a lady book. And that was my calling. That was I knew that was a sign. And I bought I bought it for like three dollars. But uh, it was just <laughs> a nostalgic thing to have, and just to go back and revisit some information that I might have forgotten, but just definitely is still the foundation of our industry. The so, yeah, exactly. the education, you celebrate and you educate. I'm getting the education that I've always wanted. I wish all of you success. I, I think that, you know, I've been a hairdresser since 1968, and each year I've become more proud, more confident, and more believing in what this industry is about. So, if you're a whiner, cut it out. You've got to figure out what it is that's going to buoy you up to the top. And the rest of you, keep reaching up there, because on we go. Bye.